here. I hope everyone had a uh, great Christmas. Um, it's uh, it's good to get back in the building today, uh, get the guys back in, and um, get going with meetings and have an opportunity to go out on the field today and um, have a little brief walkthrough. So uh, with that, I'll take your questions. What's the latest on JC? Uh, JC is going to have surgery on uh, Tuesday, um, and then at that point in time, uh, we'll determine um, you know his availability, whether he's going to be able to come back or, or will he be done for the season. Do you expect him to be out at least the next two weeks, though? Uh, I can't. I can't really say. You know. You know. I've seen different scenarios where surgery goes well, and uh, they're ready to club it up. He go play. But, um, you know, we have to wait and see exactly what the doctors and the trainers say. And then there was just a report that you guys are talking to Josh Norman potentially about a reunion. Where, where does that stand right now? Uh, Josh will be coming in today for a workout, and um, we'll see exactly how it goes from there. Would the expectation be that you would sign him? Uh, the expectations, if things go according to the plan, we'd love to try to sign him and, and uh, get him on the uh, roster. Uh, when did you turn to Josh and why? Uh, when uh, Scott and I talked about it uh, today, uh, why he has um, you know experience in this league, um, you know he brings veteran leadership, and most importantly, uh, I feel like he possesses our DNA. I know him personally. You know he played for me. Uh, he understands the culture that we've tried to create here. Uh, and the element of play that we're looking for. Jeff Nixon's a guy that we don't talk about a lot publicly. Um, what has he done to this running game and this offense since you've taken charge? Uh, Jeff, um, I have a lot of respect for uh, as a coach and a, and a person. I think he does a tremendous job collaborating with uh, uh, Ben as well as with uh, Campy in the run game. You can see by the performance of his uh, position group, uh, he's doing a tremendous job. So uh, a lot of respect for him. He also has a special teams background. Has he taken on more responsibility there with Ed? Uh, you know, he hasn't. Uh, Chris Tabor, uh, Coach Tabor, does a tremendous job of that area. So, uh, you know, Jeff has done a great job working with the running backs and really, you know, gotten those guys to play at a high level consistently. Steve, just, just to confirm on uh, JC, I mean, because you didn't know after the game, but it is a broken wrist, is that correct? Uh, from, yes, it is a bro broken wrist. And he is have, having surgery on Tuesday. Yeah. When's the earliest you would be available? That I can't tell you. You know, how to wait and really see what exactly uh, how the surgery goes, what the uh, doctors and the training staff says. And is there the potential that they would say, the doctors would say, yeah, better to be just be done for the year? Again, Joe, I couldn't tell you that. I have no idea. Shai Smith had a couple of injuries the other day. Is he okay to go? Don't know yet. Really waiting to see exactly what's going to transpire with uh, the training staff. Uh, I think we have an MRI coming. Um, but from my understanding, hopefully he's going to be all right. I'll let you know on Wednesday for sure. With your experience, if, if everything works out and you sign Norman and you bring him back, how easy would it be to kind of implement him into the defense in order to be to make an impact against the Bucks? Well, well, you know, we did the same thing with uh, T.J. Curry when he came in, and uh, I think it's really uh, the status of where those guys are uh, from a physical standpoint. You know, being in shape sometimes is totally different from game shape. Uh, both uh, have an understanding of the defense and some of the things that we're doing. And, you know, by working with both of those guys before, I think it'll be an easier transition. So hopefully he can jump in and get going. Will Josh work out, or is it really just sort of more of a physical and head to paper? Kind of uh, he's working out today. You know, we want to see exactly, you know, where he is uh, from a physical standpoint um, and, you know, see how he moves around. And then from there, we'll make a decision. And I'm sorry if you answered this on David's question, but did you talk to him directly and kind of get some reassurance as to his level of potential game shape? Uh, uh, yes, we did speak. You know, I'm not going to elaborate on our conversation. Uh, just bringing him in just to see again where he is. And um, I'm hoping that he is um, in well enough shape to where he can be able to play for us this week. 
how important is the the message with coming like closing a game with obviously what happened with, with the Bucks yesterday and, and how they've been able to really pick up in the hurry up even though they've kind of struggled a little bit with, with like kind of their regular offense well I, I think when you have um, the greatest to ever do it and it's pretty easy and pretty simple you know they're never out of the game you know so uh, Tom Brady uh, is in a class of his own and uh, he does a tremendous job you know you can never count the uh, Buccaneers out so uh, our focus again is going to be on us and doing the things that we have to do to prepare this week uh, to go out and execute as we did this past um, Saturday. Given the outlook of the next two weeks how how easy or difficult was it for you to relax yesterday and kind of be present with Christmas? Uh, you know to be quite honest it was very easy you know we had a great win and um, having time to be able to reflect on really what the true meaning of Christmas is about and spending time with my family, I definitely wanted to unplug. Steve, what, what do you feel like, uh, as we look ahead to next week, what do you feel like you were able to do last time against Tom Brady? You guys held three points. What do you got to do again this week? Well, last time was last time. You know, uh, again, as I just mentioned, uh, they're not never out of the game. So we got to make sure that we execute. We got to stop the run, you know. Fournette did a great job yesterday uh, in getting his yardage in the run game. They did a tremendous job in finding ways to get him the ball out on the perimeter. You know, so uh, he's definitely going to be a guy that we're going to make sure that we, you know, try to contain uh, those receivers. Julio is back. We didn't play against him the first go around. You know, so uh, they definitely have some weapons. And uh, again, we got to stop the run first and then try to make them one dimensional. Is Josh kind of fit under like the Dina Tillman and the? Uh, Harper type player, that veteran that, that, that can come out and may not be able to go out there and play every snap, but can add a lot to a unit? Uh, I think with his, his um, leadership, um, again, being here before, understanding the culture that we're trying to create, um, uh, he has that DNA. He's going to be a great example for some of these young guys. Um, you mentioned some that we had in the past, Peanut Tillman, Roman Harper. He fits right into that mold. Was he excited about this possibility, Steve, that not just to come back here, but to come back here with a chance to help you guys uh, get back to the playoffs? Uh, I think he's excited just about the opportunity um, to be able to play again. Uh, excited about coming back here and then, you know, just the relationship that we have. Uh, and understanding, you know, how well we've worked together in the past, and hopefully he can come in and try to spark us, spark us really, to uh, propel and, and get some good things done down the stretch. After the Pittsburgh loss, you said you didn't want to hear anybody talking about playoffs. Now, as you head into Tampa, is that your same outlook? It's the same outlook. You know, uh, right now we're just worrying about trying to, you know, beat Tampa, win the day, have productive meetings, go out and have a good walkthrough. Uh, keep the focus on us and take it day by day, and we'll see exactly what happens in the end. Is that exciting for you, though? I mean, from where you took over at one and four, and now sitting here controlling the, the fate. Here. Well, I, I'm excited for for really the men in, in that locker room and the things that they've done uh, over the last couple of uh, weeks. You know, so uh, I want to keep the focus on them and how I try to ma manage those guys and get them going forward is to keep the focus on us, you know. And, yeah, we're excited. We're excited about the opportunity that we have this week and, and playing Tampa and uh, trying to shut down, as I mentioned earlier, Mike, one of the greatest to ever do it. So that's where we are. Is there any update on Andre? Uh, you know, Andre progressed well last week. Um, I'm hoping that, um, you know, he can give us that spark in the kicking game this week. So we'll see exactly where he is. And even bringing Josh in, I mean, that's not the kind of move I don't think that a front office would sign off on if y'all weren't in this position. So is that kind of all sort of add into it? No, I, I think when you have injuries and, you know, you got to be able to finish up the year, I think, you know, myself as well as Scott, uh, we're open right now to be able to fill those voids. You know, as we just mentioned, um, you know, JC is having surgery. We don't know really how he's going to come out of that. So. I think it's just an opportunity to to bring guys in um, to be able to fill that board. Brian mentioned how you challenged the team again coming into the matchup 
against uh, this last past matchup and how they responded. Um, how do you, in your experience, challenge guys after a win? Uh, as I just talked about, you know, not getting complacent, you know, um, trying to get off the roller coaster. You know, went through the process of games that we may have had and, and those kind of things with the ups and downs. We're looking for consistency right now, and uh, that's the key challenge. And for us, it's just all about this time of the year, good football teams, fundamentals and technique. You know, it's not, not about the schematics, not about all the things that you can do. It's about the fundamentals, and you saw that on Saturday. So that's where we're going to keep the focus and, um, you know, high intensity. Steve, uh, one more quick question to Josh. Um, I mean, if, if JC can't play, if he's ruled out for this week, is, is Josh somebody that you would expect to come in and start right away or just come on and give you some, some snaps? No, we wouldn't, we wouldn't try to put that workload on, on anyone uh, in a short period of time like that. You know, I have total confidence in Keith Taylor if um, JC is not there, you know, to be able to step in and start. You know, he's played some good football for us. And, um, you know, we still have T.J. Curry. Uh, Josh is a guy that's going to come in, like I said before, and, you know, hopefully be able to give us some reps. Can you go back a little bit to what you saw in Sam um, when you decided to let Baker go that made you believe that Sam was the right guy? Where were those two? Um, you know, again, David, I don't get in comparisons. It's just, you know, I felt like uh, Sam all along, with his skill set since he's come into the league, um, you know, given the opportunity, his arm strength is there, you know, athleticism. You saw right now where he ran the ball yesterday. Um, I think once you, which we have, once you put him down behind a, a line that can protect him and give him time, he can go through his progression and be pretty good. So those are the things that I knew he had. Uh, also, I knew what we had up front that was going to be able to allow him uh, the affordabilities to be able to do that. So that's the reason why. What, what are the intangibles uh, that you've seen, other than not taking any turnovers these four games, that you, that's really impressed you? I mean, he, he's building a lot of confidence. You can see it. I, I see it in practice, you know, with, uh, with each peer and each rep, uh, with the throws that he's making. You know, uh, he's throwing in, in, in the traffic. He's throwing guys open. You can press the ball down the field. Uh, and again, he can use his athleticism to get on the perimeter and make plays. You see that even back in training camp, I mean, a lot of guys that don't know he's going through with lost confidence. And well, it was it was very tough to really focus on that because I had a position. But when you know, and then he got hurt earlier. I, I can just tell you, as as his body of work, I've seen that over the years. And then recently, I knew exactly what we had in him. Everybody good. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you.